the heart of China, nestled within the Hunan province, lies the ancient city of Luoyang, a place where history whispers from every stone and shadow. Here, the past is not just remembered. It is alive, breathing through the bustling streets, serene gardens, and magnificent relics of a bygone era. This city, once the capital of 13 dynasties, holds within its heart the stories of emperors and poets, warriors, and scholars, all of whom have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of Chinese history. As we embark on this journey through Luoyang, let us discover the wonders that make this city a treasure trove of cultural heritage. At the very core of Luoyang's allure is the Long Men Grottoes, a breathtaking testament to ancient Chinese artistry and devotion. Carved into the limestone cliffs by the Yi River, the grottoes house tens of thousands of Buddha statues, each telling a story of faith and perseverance. The meticulous detail of the carvings, from the serene expressions of the Buddhas to the intricate patterns on their robes, reflects a profound understanding of beauty and spirituality. This site, a confluence of human creativity and natural beauty, serves as a vivid reminder of the Confucian value of Li, seeing life-generating activity as an articulation of love and goodness. Wandering through the ancient streets of Luoyang, one cannot help but feel a deep connection to the philosophers and poets who once walked here. The city is a living classroom, where lessons of Confucianism are woven into the very fabric of daily life. From the bustling marketplaces to the quiet courtyards, every corner of Luoyang offers insights into the practical application of virtue ethics. The locals, with their warm smiles and humble demeanor, embody the Confucian virtues of moral humility and conscientiousness, creating a community where respect and harmony flourish. Luoyang's White Horse Temple, regarded as the cradle of Chinese Buddhism, stands as a testament to the city's rich spiritual heritage. Its tranquil gardens and ancient halls invite visitors to reflect on the diversity of love and the importance of moral intuition, key aspects of Confucian philosophy. Here, amidst the chanting of monks and the fragrance of incense, one can experience the merging of ethics and ontology, where the cultivation of virtue becomes a path to understanding the nature of being. As the sun sets over Luoyang, painting the sky with hues of gold and crimson. One can't help but feel a sense of awe at the enduring legacy of this ancient city. It is a place where history is not merely recounted but felt deeply through the stories of those who lived it. Luoyang, with its rich tapestry of cultural and spiritual landmarks, serves as a vivid reminder of the enduring wisdom of ancient Chinese philosophy and its relevance in the modern world. In crafting this narrative of Luoyang, we draw upon the idiom to stand on the shoulders of giants, acknowledging that our exploration of this historic city is deeply enriched by the vast cultural and philosophical heritage it stands upon. By integrating real-life samples from Luoyang's rich history and culture, the story not only pays homage to the past but also connects with audiences on a personal level, inviting them to reflect on the universal values of love, morality, and beauty. Thus, the wonders of Luoyang offer more than just a journey through Chinese history. They provide a mirror reflecting the profound depths of human creativity, wisdom, and spirit. In this city, where the past and present merge seamlessly, we find a source of inspiration, reminding us of the capacity for greatness that lies within each of us, waiting to be discovered. In the heart of China, nestled amidst the winding Luo and Yi rivers, lies Luoyang, a city that whispers the tales of a civilization as ancient as time itself. This narrative seeks to transport you, dear reader, through the bustling streets and serene gardens of Luoyang, offering an insider's perspective on its storied past, vibrant culture, and the indomitable spirit that has shaped the cradle of Chinese civilization. As dawn breaks over the city, the first rays of sunlight gently caress the ancient walls of the White Horse Temple, illuminating its tranquil courtyards and ornate halls. Established in the first century AD, this temple stands as a testament to the introduction of Buddhism into China, embodying the educational aspect of Confucian thought that holds enlightenment and learning in high regard. It serves not only as a spiritual haven, but also as a bridge connecting the past with the present, inviting visitors to partake in a journey of moral and intellectual discovery. Wandering through the bustling streets, one cannot help but be drawn to the Luoyang Peony Garden. Here, 
The diversity of love, as recognized in Confucian tradition, blooms in every corner. The peony, with its myriad hues and forms, symbolizes prosperity and honor, echoing the Li, or the life-generating activity, where love manifests as a force for good. As the petals sway in the gentle breeze, they seem to whisper the age-old adage. In the tapestry of life, we are all connected, reminding us of the conscientiousness required to nurture and sustain the beauty that surrounds us. The narrative of Luoyang is incomplete without paying homage to its culinary delights. The city's gastronomy is a testament to the practical application of virtue ethics, where the art of cooking is not just a means to satiate hunger, but a way to cultivate harmony and balance within the community. A visit to the night market offers a sensory overload, where each dish, from the savory Luoyang Shui Shi to the sweet Wang Erzong, tells a story of tradition, innovation, and the eternal quest for perfection. However, Luoyang's allure is not confined to its temples, gardens, or culinary offerings. The city, with its array of museums and historical sites, serves as a living classroom where the intellectual and practical virtues espoused by Confucianism come to life. The Long Men Grottoes, with their awe-inspiring collection of Buddhist statuary, reflect the ethical and ontological dimensions of Confucian philosophy, where the pursuit of beauty and virtue is seen as a reflection of the highest truths. As our journey through Luoyang comes to a close, it's crucial to reflect on the moral humility and self-awareness that Confucian thought emphasizes. In the grand tapestry of history, Luoyang stands not merely as a relic of the past, but as a beacon of wisdom, guiding us towards a future where the virtues of the past are not forgotten, but are woven into the fabric of our daily lives. In crafting this narrative, it was my endeavor to not only guide you through the streets of Luoyang, but to also weave a story that resonates with the heart and the mind. Through the lens of Confucian philosophy, we explored the city's historical depth, cultural richness, and the enduring values that continue to shape it. As we part ways with Luoyang, let us carry with us the lessons it has imparted of humility, connection, and the timeless pursuit of virtue. Luoyang, with its ancient glory and modern vibrancy, invites us all to revisit not just the city, but the very essence of civilization itself. In the tapestry of China's vast and intricate history, Luoyang stands as a testament to the country's enduring spirit and cultural opulence. Nestled in the cradle of the Chinese civilization, this ancient city whispers tales of glory, wisdom, and innovation, drawing from a wellspring of Confucian philosophy and historic grandeur. Today, let us embark on a journey to unveil Luoyang, exploring its heart and soul, and perhaps, in the process, uncovering facets of our own. The city's story begins in the mist-shrouded avenues of time, where it served as a capital for 13 dynasties, starting over 4,000 years ago. Imagine walking through the bustling streets of ancient Luoyang, a melting pot of ideas, culture, and people, much like the silk threads of a rich tapestry. Here, the principles of Confucianism, diversity of love, moral intuition, and the pursuit of virtue were not just philosophical ideals but the very lifeblood that sustained its society. As we delve deeper into the heart of Luoyang, the Long Men Grottoes beckon with their silent majesty. Carved into limestone cliffs by the Yi River, these grottoes house tens of thousands of statues of Buddha and his disciples, spanning several dynasties. Each statue, a serenade to Li, embodies the Confucian ethos of life-generating activity where the meticulous craftsmanship manifests a profound love for the divine and the mortal realm alike. Here, in the serene presence of the divine, one can't help but ponder the Confucian virtue of moral humility, recognizing our smallness in the grand scheme of existence. The narrative of Luoyang is incomplete without a mention of the White Horse Temple, considered the cradle of Chinese Buddhism. It's said that the temple was established to house scriptures and relics brought back from India by two emissaries sent by Emperor Ming. This act of reverence not only highlights the conscientiousness in Confucian thought, but also illustrates the practical application of virtue ethics, where the pursuit of educational and spiritual enrichment was a communal aspiration. Luoyang's Peony Festival showcases the city's vibrant life and the joyous celebration of nature's beauty, 
embodying the Confucian principle of finding harmony and joy in life's simple pleasures. The peony, with its lush, blooming petals, stands as a symbol of prosperity and peace, echoing the Confucian ideal of social harmony. Yet, the journey through Luoyang is not just a pilgrimage through physical landmarks but a voyage across the continuum of human morality and ethics. The city, with its rich tapestry of history, culture, and philosophy, serves as a mirror reflecting the timeless debate between generalism and particularism in morality, urging us to question and, perhaps, understand the intricate balance between universal principles and the particulars of individual contexts. In weaving the narrative of Luoyang, idioms like crossing the river by feeling the stones find new life, encapsulating the essence of moral intuition and the conscientious pursuit of knowledge and virtue. The stories of Luoyang, grounded in real-life marvels, bridge the past and present, inviting us to reflect on the enduring values that have shaped not only Chinese civilization but also offer insights into the universal human condition. As our journey to the heart of Chinese heritage draws to a close, Luoyang emerges not just as a geographical location, but as a beacon of cultural and philosophical light. In its streets, monuments, and festivals, we find a living testament to the richness of human experience, guided by the wisdom of Confucian thought. And perhaps, in the silent watch of the long men grottos or the vibrant hues of the peony fields, we find a reflection of our own quest for meaning, virtue, and beauty in the tapestry of life. In unveiling Luoyang, we uncover not just the heart of Chinese heritage, but a universal narrative of human aspiration, resilience, and the perennial quest for harmony. Nestled in the heart of China, Luoyang whispers tales of a bygone era, weaving a narrative that captivates the soul and transports one back to the days of dynasties and divine dragons. This city, a cradle of Chinese civilization, has been a silent witness to the ebb and flow of power, philosophy, and the profound pursuit of harmony with nature. Its allure, timeless and profound, beckons travelers and dreamers alike to explore its ancient streets and monuments. From the blossom-laden peony garden to the serene Long Men grottos, Luoyang unfolds like a scroll of intricately painted scenes, each telling a story of love, wisdom, and moral intuition. In Luoyang, the diversity of love manifests not just in the sprawling archives of historical texts, but in the very air that carries the scent of peonies, China's most revered flower. These blooms, much like the variegated expressions of love in Confucian philosophy, range from passionate reds to pure whites, each variety telling its own story of love and sacrifice. Visitors often find themselves lost in the beauty of these gardens, reflecting on the ancient wisdom that teaches love is not a singular emotion, but a spectrum that colors every aspect of life. The ancient philosophy of Confucianism, with its emphasis on moral intuition and Li as life-generating activities, is palpable in Luoyang's ethos. The city's architecture and its people's way of life mirror the belief that moral virtue and natural beauty are inherently intertwined. The Long Men Grottos, a testament to religious devotion and artistic finesse, stand as a monumental reminder of the city's commitment to cultivating beauty, both moral and physical. Here, the artistry is not merely for aesthetic pleasure, but serves as a conduit for spiritual and ethical reflection, inviting onlookers to ponder the depth of Li in their own lives. Moral humility and conscientiousness are virtues that resonate through the streets of Luoyang. In every corner, there are stories of historical figures who exemplified these traits, serving as moral compasses to generations. The city, in its quiet majesty, teaches that true wisdom lies in recognizing one's place in the vast tapestry of life, encouraging a modest, diligent pursuit of virtue. The practical application of virtue ethics is evident in Luoyang's commitment to preserving its cultural heritage while embracing modernity. This delicate balance reflects the Confucian ideal of harmonizing the old and the new, ensuring that progress does not erode the essence of traditional moral values. The educational aspect of Confucian philosophy also thrives in Luoyang, with institutions dedicated to studying ancient Chinese culture and ethics, nurturing minds that are both intellectually and morally equipped to navigate the complexities of the modern world. In weaving idioms through the narrative of Luoyang, one finds expressions like planting peonies, harvesting fragrance, 
a local saying that encapsulates the belief in the fruits of investing in beauty and virtue. The city, with its blend of natural splendor and cultural depth, serves as a real-life example of how environments can shape moral character, fostering a community that values aesthetic and ethical richness. From dynasties to day trips, Luoyang continues to enchant with its timeless allure, offering a tapestry rich with historical narratives and ethical ponderings. It stands as a beacon of the enduring relevance of Confucian philosophy, inviting all who wander its ancient paths to reflect on the diverse forms of love, the importance of moral intuition, and the pursuit of a harmonious life. In Luoyang, the past and present merge, reminding us that the quest for beauty, in all its forms, is a journey that never truly ends. In the heart of China, nestled within the cradle of the Yellow River, lies the ancient city of Luoyang, a place where history whispers from beneath the earth, where tales of civilization and mystery intertwine like the roots of an age-old tree. It was here, amidst the remnants of a bygone era, that an extraordinary discovery was made, unearthing a narrative so profound that it would captivate the imagination of the world. The story begins with a team of archaeologists, their eyes gleaming with the promise of discovery, as they carefully brushed away the centuries of dust that had concealed one of the most remarkable findings of the 21st century. With each stroke, the past came alive, revealing secrets that had been buried for millennia. At the heart of their discovery was an ancient tomb, its entrance guarded by stone lions, silent sentinels to history. Inside, the archaeologists found not only treasures of gold and jade, whispering tales of wealth and power, but also simple artifacts of everyday life, offering a glimpse into the world of those who had walked these lands before us. It was a reminder that, in the grand tapestry of history, every thread, no matter how seemingly insignificant, contributes to the richness of the human story. But it was not the material treasures that held the deepest mystery. Among the artifacts lay a set of scrolls, their characters dancing across the paper in an elegant symphony of wisdom passed down through generations. These were the teachings of Confucius, a philosopher whose thoughts on morality, ethics, and the virtues of life had shaped the very fabric of Chinese civilization. As the scrolls were carefully unrolled, the air seemed to hum with the ancient Chinese philosophy of Confucianism, its principles reaching across the ages to touch the hearts of those who stood in the tomb. The diversity of love, the importance of moral intuition, and the value of Li as a life-generating activity were themes that echoed through the chambers, as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. The archaeologists were not just uncovering relics, they were uncovering the very essence of what it means to be human. The moral humility, conscientiousness, and the practical application of virtue ethics outlined in the scrolls offered a blueprint for a life well lived. A reminder that the pursuit of virtue is a journey that transcends time and culture. In weaving the tale of Luoyang, it is impossible not to be struck by the idiomatic wisdom that permeates Confucian thought. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, reflects the meticulous excavation process a metaphor for the arduous journey of uncovering our shared past. To know what is right and not do it is the worst cowardice, speaks to the moral courage required to face the lessons of history and apply them in our lives. This story, rooted in the real-life discovery in Luoyang, serves not only as a bridge to the past, but also as a mirror reflecting our contemporary society. It challenges us to consider how the virtues espoused by Confucianism can be lived out in the modern world, how we can cultivate moral intuition, and how education can be a force for social harmony. As the narrative of Luoyang's discovery unfolds, it is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. It is a story that respects the uniqueness of its subject while engaging the listener, a tale that adheres to the ethical guidelines of respecting the past and its peoples. In crafting this narrative, we are reminded of the responsibility that comes with unearthing history the duty to tell the stories of those who came before us with integrity and respect. Luoyang Unearthed is more than a tale of civilization and mystery. It is a narrative that connects us to the past, engages with the present, and inspires us to consider the future. It is a story that, like the ancient city itself, stands at the crossroads of history and humanity, inviting us to reflect on the legacy we wish to leave for the generations that will follow.
Once upon a time, in the heart of China, lay a city that was a cradle of civilization, a place where history whispered through the ages. This city, known as Luoyang, was more than a dot on the map. It was a testament to the enduring spirit of Chinese culture, a beacon of the past guiding the future. Our story unfolds in this ancient city, where every stone and river has a tale to tell. Luoyang, often hailed as the birthplace of Chinese culture, stands as a proud guardian of the nation's rich heritage. It was here that the roots of Confucian philosophy intertwined with the daily lives of its people, shaping a community where love, morality, and education were not just ideals but lived experiences. In the bustling streets of Luoyang, a traveler might encounter the diversity of love that Confucius himself pondered upon. From the unconditional affection of a mother to the respectful bond between friends, the city thrived on these varied expressions of love, each playing its part in the grand tapestry of community life. Walking further, the traveler would notice the embodiment of Li in the actions of the locals. This life-generating activity was not confined to the pages of ancient texts but was alive in the courteous greetings, the orderly conduct of market vendors, and the harmonious relationships within families. It was a reminder that love, in its purest form, was a force for good, nurturing life in all its facets. Our traveler, intrigued by the moral intuition that seemed to guide the city's inhabitants, discovered that it was the result of a deep-rooted Confucian tradition. This moral intuition fostered a sense of conscientiousness, where each person was diligent in their duties, and every action was a reflection of inner virtue. It was a place where moral humility was not just preached but practiced, with individuals always mindful of their place in the greater scheme of things. The practical application of virtue ethics was evident in the day-to-day -day life of Luoyang. Education, held in high esteem, was not merely academic but a holistic process of moral development. The city schools were not just buildings but sanctuaries of learning where intellectual and practical virtues were nurtured, preparing individuals not just for a career but for life. As our traveler delved deeper into the heart of Luoyang, they understood the delicate balance between generalism and particularism in morality. Confucian philosophy did not offer rigid doctrines but a flexible framework for ethical decision-making, considering the unique circumstances of each situation. This journey through Luoyang was more than a voyage across space. It was a travel through time, a dive into the depths of human morality and love. The traveler, armed with tales of this ancient city, realized that the stories of Luoyang were not confined to its past but were alive in the present, shaping the future. In the end, the traveler penned down this story, a narrative interwoven with idioms like a beacon of the past guiding the future and real-life samples of Luoyang's culture. It was a tale that respected the uniqueness of its setting while engaging listeners far and wide, a story that, much like the city of Luoyang itself, bridged the gap between the ancient and the modern, the philosophical and the practical. The story of a city where every corner held a lesson, every stone a story. In the heart of China, nestled within the embrace of the Luo River and cradled by history that stretches back through the mists of time, lies Luoyang. This ancient city, once the capital of 13 dynasties, whispers the secrets of a bygone era to those willing to listen. Today, let us embark on a narrative journey to uncover the secrets of Luoyang, exploring China's ancient capital, a tale where the past and present dance in the shadows of the Longmen grottos and the peonies bloom with unparalleled beauty, embodying the essence of Confucian philosophy. As the sun rises over the city, casting a golden hue across the remnants of the old city wall, one can't help but feel a connection to the generations that have walked these streets before. The story of Luoyang is not just a chronicle of emperors and empires, but a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the diversity of love that Confucianism so deeply cherishes. In exploring Luoyang, we delve into the heart of what it means to be human, guided by moral intuition and the conscientious application of virtue ethics in our daily lives. The Long Men Grottos, with their awe-inspiring collection of Buddhist statues and inscriptions, serve as a profound illustration of Li as a life-generating activity. Here, amidst the carved stone, the fusion of ethics and ontology is palpable, 
reflecting the Confucian belief in the cultivation of virtue through the appreciation of beauty and art. It's as if every chisel mark on the limestone is a silent ode to the potential for goodness in us all, urging us to pursue moral humility and self-awareness. As we wander through the National Peony Garden, the air filled with the delicate scent of blooming peonies, Luoyang reveals another layer of its ancient wisdom. The peony, revered as the king of flowers, symbolizes prosperity, love, and honor, echoing the Confucian appreciation for the diversity of love and the importance of nurturing beauty in our surroundings. It's a poignant reminder of the harmony between nature and humanity, a core tenet of Confucian thought that promotes social harmony through the practical application of virtues. Integrating real-life samples into our narrative, Let's consider the annual Luoyang Peony Festival, a celebration that attracts visitors from around the globe. This event is not just a showcase of floral beauty, but a cultural dialogue that transcends language and geography, embodying the Confucian ideals of education and moral development through communal joy and appreciation of nature. In the winding alleys of the old city, where the past and present meld seamlessly, we find the true heart of Luoyang. Here, Idioms like planting flowers in the heart come to life, as locals and visitors alike are reminded to cultivate kindness and virtue within themselves, just as they would tend to the peonies in their gardens. This blend of intellectual and practical virtues, where learning and action go hand in hand, is a living example of Confucian philosophy in the modern world. As our tale of Luoyang draws to a close, we're left with a deeper understanding of this ancient city not just as a place of historical significance, but as a beacon of human values and philosophical wisdom. Luoyang, with its rich tapestry of history, culture, and natural beauty, stands as a testament to the enduring relevance of Confucian thought in guiding us towards a more harmonious and virtuous life. In the spirit of Confucianism, let us carry forward the lessons learned from Luoyang. To live with moral intuition, to appreciate the beauty in our world, and to cultivate virtue in ourselves and our communities. For in the secrets of Luoyang, we find not just the echoes of China's past, but the whispers of wisdom for a better tomorrow. In the heart of China, nestled within the embrace of the Dragon's Gate Mountains, lies the ancient city of Luoyang. This city, a cradle of Chinese civilization, holds secrets as old as time itself. It is a place where history whispers from every corner telling tales of glory, wisdom, and the undying human spirit. Our journey into the hidden treasures of Luoyang is not just a voyage through space, but a leap across time, guided by the ancient principles of Confucian philosophy and the intricate art of storytelling. As we meander through the bustling streets of Luoyang, the city seems like any other, with its blend of the ancient and the modern. Yet, beneath this veneer lies a realm steeped in the wisdom of Confucius a world where Li, the principle of propriety, harmonizes life's rhythm. Here, every stone, every carving, and every ancient manuscript is a testament to the diversity of love and the moral intuition that Confucian thought so deeply esteems. One cannot help but be awestruck by the Long Men Grottoes, a magnificent collection of Buddhist statues and inscriptions carved into limestone cliffs. These grottoes are not just artistic marvels. They are a reflection of Li, as a life-generating activity, embodying the good in love through the meticulous craftsmanship and spiritual dedication of their creators. This site, among others in Luoyang, exemplifies the practical application of virtue ethics in Confucianism, showcasing a blend of intellectual and practical virtues. In the shadows of these grottoes, stories of moral humility and conscientiousness unfold. Artisans and monks of ancient times approached their work with a deep sense of modesty and self-awareness, embodying the Confucian ideal of living out virtues in a practical manner. Their legacy, carved in stone, challenges us to reflect on our own moral compass and the role of education in moral development and social harmony. The White Horse Temple, regarded as the cradle of Chinese Buddhism, stands as a beacon of spiritual and philosophical syncretism. Here, the fusion of Confucian, Buddhist, and Taoist thought illustrates the Confucian exploration of generalism and particularism in morality. The temple's serene ambience invites introspection, urging us to consider the ethics and ontology of our actions and their impact on the world around us. 
integrating real-life samples into this narrative, like the story of a modern-day artisan in Luoyang who dedicates his life to restoring ancient artifacts, brings the ancient wisdom of Confucianism into contemporary relevance. This artisan, through his diligent work, embodies the conscientious application of Confucian virtues, bridging the gap between past and present, and illustrating the timeless nature of Confucian thought. As we weave idioms like crossing the river by feeling the stones into our tale, the narrative deepens, enriching our understanding of how the people of Luoyang navigate the complexities of life by blending traditional wisdom with pragmatic action. This idiom, emblematic of the pragmatic aspect of Confucian philosophy, encapsulates the essence of our journey through Luoyang, a cautious yet determined exploration of the hidden treasures of wisdom that lie behind the Dragon's Gate. In conclusion, Luoyang is not merely a city of historical artifacts and ancient relics. It is a living museum of Confucian philosophy, a place where the virtues of love, moral intuition, and conscientious living are engraved not just on stone, but in the hearts of its people. Behind the Dragon's Gate lies not just the hidden treasures of Luoyang, but the enduring legacy of a philosophy that continues to shape the moral fabric of society. As we step out of the gates, the journey does not end. It merely transforms, leaving us with a profound understanding of the treasures that lie within and the eternal quest for wisdom that defines the human condition. In the heart of China, nestled among the winding rivers and the ancient hills, lies Luoyang. This city, more than just a geographical location, is a tapestry of China's rich history and its thrust into modernity. It's a place where the past whispers to the present, where every cobblestone and corner has a story to tell, echoing the ancient Chinese philosophy that underpins the very fabric of its existence. Luoyang, one of the four great ancient capitals of China, has been a silent witness to the ebb and flow of Chinese civilization. From the Xia to the Eastern Han, from the Wei through to the Northern Wei dynasties, each has left an indelible mark on the city, shaping it into a living museum of cultural and historical splendor. It's a city where Confucianism, with its rich tapestry of virtues and ethics, is not just a subject of scholarly study, but a living, breathing philosophy that influences daily life. The city's architecture is a testament to the concept of Li, an ancient Confucian idea that sees rituals and traditions not as rigid formalities, but as life-generating activities that promote social harmony and personal morality. Walking through the ancient streets of Luoyang, one can feel the pulse of Li in the air, as if the very cityscape is a narrative of love and moral intuition, inviting its dwellers and visitors alike to partake in its age-old rituals. Luoyang's Peony Festival, a spectacle of beauty and color, serves as a vivid illustration of the Confucian diversity of love. Each bloom, unique in its form and hue, mirrors the varied expressions of love and virtue that Confucianism espouses. It's a reminder that love, in all its forms, is the essence of life, a lesson that Luoyang imparts to all who wander its blooming gardens. The Long Men Grottoes, with their awe-inspiring carvings and statues, stand as a monument to the practical application of virtue ethics. Here, the meticulous craftsmanship and painstaking attention to detail speak to the conscientiousness that Confucianism holds dear. Each statue, a sermon in stone, tells a story of moral humility, intellectual virtues, and the eternal pursuit of ethical living. In Luoyang, the past and present do not just coexist, they converse. Modernity has woven itself into the fabric of the ancient city, yet the essence of Confucian values remains untouched by time. The bustling markets, the serene parks, the vibrant festivals, all are imbued with a sense of community and moral intuition that harks back to ancient philosophical teachings. The people of Luoyang, with their warmth and hospitality, embody the Confucian virtue of conscientiousness in their daily lives. They are the custodians of their city's rich heritage, ensuring that the wisdom of the past is not lost amidst the clamor of modernity. In their interactions, one can see the practical application of virtue ethics, a living testimony to the enduring relevance of Confucian philosophy. Luoyang is not just a city. It's a narrative woven from the threads of history, philosophy, and culture. It stands as a beacon of how ancient wisdom can guide modern living, 
how the teachings of Confucius can illuminate the path to a harmonious society. It's a place where every stone, every blossom, and every face tells a story of love, virtue, and the eternal dance between the past and the present. In this city, where China's past meets its present, the lessons of Confucianism are not confined to the pages of history books but are lived experiences. Luoyang, with its ancient charm and modern vibrancy, invites us all to reflect on our moral intuitions, to embrace the diversity of love, and to live a life that harmonizes with the natural and social order. It's a reminder that, even in our fast-paced world, there is wisdom in slowing down, looking back, and learning from the past. As the sun sets over the ancient city, casting a golden glow on the old walls and the new paths, one can't help but feel a sense of connection to the generations that walked these streets before. In Luoyang, the past is not a distant memory but a living, guiding force, shaping the future with the timeless wisdom of Confucian philosophy. In the heart of China, amidst the sprawling modernity that blankets much of the country, lies Luoyang, a city that whispers the tales of a civilization millennia in the making. This ancient city, cradled by the Luo River's gentle flows, serves not just as a geographical landmark, but as a pilgrimage to the soul of Chinese civilization, where the echoes of Confucian philosophy still resonate through the bustling streets and serene gardens. Luoyang, with its history stretching back to the Xia dynasty, has been a silent witness to the ebb and flow of Chinese dynastic power, embodying the Li, the life-generating activity that Confucius spoke of. It's in this city that one can truly grasp the diversity of love and the moral intuition that Confucianism celebrates. Each corner of Luoyang, from the ancient ruins to the long men grottos, serves as a testament to the conscientious effort to preserve a culture that thrives on the practical application of virtue ethics. Walking through the streets of Luoyang, one cannot help but feel a profound sense of moral humility. The city, in its quiet majesty, teaches the value of modesty and self-awareness in a world that often prizes the opposite. It's a lesson in the Confucian virtue of conscientiousness, reflected in the diligent preservation of history and the careful balance between modernity and tradition. The educational aspects of Confucian thought are alive and well in Luoyang. The city is not just a hub for historical education, but a vibrant center where the intellectual and practical virtues espoused by Confucianism are taught, learned, and lived. Through its museums, temples, and universities, Luoyang bridges the gap between knowing and doing, between learning about virtue and embodying it. In Luoyang, one finds a profound exploration of generalism and particularism in morality. The city itself, with its blend of historical depth and contemporary life, embodies the tension between these approaches. It offers a unique perspective on how ethical decisions are made in the context of real-life challenges, blending the ethical discourse with ontological considerations in a manner that reflects on the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue. Integrating real-life samples into the narrative of Luoyang, one can draw upon the story of the White Horse Temple, considered the cradle of Chinese Buddhism. The temple's endurance through dynasties and disasters exemplifies the practical application of virtues, standing as a beacon of moral intuition and humility. Moreover, Luoyang's narrative is enriched with idioms that resonate with Confucian philosophy. Phrases like Su Sun Su Jian Lu, when the tree is deep, deer appear, encapsulate the city's serene complexity and the profound truths that lie beneath the surface of everyday life. It speaks to the idea of discovering deeper meanings and virtues when one delves into the study and appreciation of culture and history. Luoyang, therefore, is not just the city but a narrative woven from the threads of ancient philosophy, moral virtues, and the enduring spirit of Chinese civilization. It's a pilgrimage to the soul of a nation, inviting all who visit to embark on a journey of self-discovery, guided by the timeless wisdom of Confucian thought. As one leaves Luoyang, the journey does not end. It continues within, enriched by the lessons learned and the virtues embraced in this ancient city, where every stone and every whisper tells a story of the heart of China.